guys okay so today I am going to be showing you a first impressions type video of all of the makeup that I bought in my video that was two videos ago so I didn't really mean to upload um well I mean I did obviously but um my Etsy haul that I uploaded a few video uh last video but I have been sick a lot recently, if you can kind of still hear it in my voice, um, and I just couldn't film. Um, so, I'm doing this today. And the lighting might be a little bit weird, it's kind of gloomy outside. But so, yes. Okay, I am going to start with, this is new, I mean I haven't showed this to you guys, but I got it for my birthday. It is the Becca Ever Matte poreless priming perfector and I really like this um the only thing about it is a quite thick consistency as you can see I kind of have to push like hard to get it out but I really like it for my oily skin and I just like um put it specifically in my problem areas and then just kind of blot it everywhere else um as you can see very clearly, I have a lot of acne going on right now. Um, not quite sure what it's from, but who knows. Um, and another thing about this foundation is I've noticed that if you like really like rub it in instead of pat it in, um, it kind of starts peeling off. But yeah. So then I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And I am in the color Light. And what I really, really like about this is the fact that it is a pump. So I'm just going to pump. And that is about one pump's worth. And normally that's about enough for me. And then I'm using my Sephora 63 um, foundation brush. And what I like to do is just take it on my fingers and just dab this all over my face. And one of the things that I did notice about this, and I don't know if it's because it has sunscreen in it or what, because it is SPF 50. But it has a really weird smell. I'm not sure, like I said, if it's the sunscreen or what. But at first I was really, really put off by it. I was like, this stuff smells disgusting. It's kind of like a citrusy kind of smell. It's kind of like a sunscreen kind of... Sorry, my camera's memory died real quick. Um, but so, like I was saying, it's kind of like a citrusy kind of smell. Um, it's not super strong once you get like the product on and start working it in. But it is like something that I definitely noticed the first time I used it. Um... And then talking about this brush, okay, sorry, my skin is coming up really, really pale. Um, it's weird. But so this brush, I, at first, when I first used it, um, I was just like going like this, like as a stippling brush. But I soon realized that you really have to um, like buff it in and not what I was doing before, like stippling. Um, it really just doesn't work very well that way. So I'm just going to bring it to my neck and on my ears a little bit because we want to match. And another thing that I found about the It Cosmetics um, CC cream is that as you can, okay, you can see if I zoom in. Under my eyes, it, so like, yeah, this isn't very blended in right now. Um, but I try to stay away from going under my eyes because it really, really creases under my eyes a lot. And I don't know if that's just me or if other people have had this issue. But so when I am buffing in the foundation, <clears throat> I really try to stay away from my under eyes. So that is pretty good, I think. I also noticed that it kind of leaves like a line around my lips, so I just try to like <laughs> just buff everything in and then sometimes I do a little sweep on my eyes, um, but like I said, it kind of creases, um, but yeah, so I really liked this. As you can see, it is pretty full coverage. Um, I've been wearing this fairly, like I've been trying to wear it, um, normally I don't wear foundations every day, but since I have obviously been having some skin issues, I have been wearing a foundation every day for the most part, and so I've been trying to use this so that I could give you guys a good review in this video. Um, I've also been using my Clinique Acne 
Solutions or whatever it's called foundation. But um, I really, really like this. I think it'll also be really good for the summer. It does have pretty full coverage. Um, I would say that it definitely needs to be set. If you have oily skin, I'm not sure. If you don't have oily skin, because I have oily skin. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it kind of feels a little bit... Like, you can kind of feel it. Like, it doesn't really sink in very well um, when you first put it on. But, yeah. So, now I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And this is in the color R20. Now, if you watched... My hair is a hot mess. If you watched my haul with this, these products in it, you would know that I'm actually in, like, R22 but they were out of it and so the guy was like we'll just get R20 and it'll be like a brightener um so I'm gonna show you guys what this does so it really don't need a lot of product as you can tell um and I see all these makeup gurus making like these huge V's but like this is the normal amount of under eye concealer that I put on when using my Neutrogena under eye concealer and this stuff really like I don't know if it's because it's More liquidy or what but then I just end up with like a hot mess like can you guys even see this? Oh, it looks awful um But so I am NOT super impressed by this I Think like yeah, it does brighten but I also feel like it's just a lot like and it's not even that full coverage um like you can definitely okay well the camera's not picking it up but you can still see like my under eyes and everything um and then if the foundation I <laughs> and then if the foundation is under there it just creases up like a storm um but so I think I might be returning it I'm not in love with it and it was $24 and if I'm good just with my like seven dollar under eye concealer I think I'm just gonna keep it so then I am thinking I'm gonna do a comparison video with the this NYX um, green concealer and the Sephora one that I bought um, but for this video I'm going to be using the green concealer on my acne spots and let me tell you it's green um, up in here here and with this stuff do not put too much on now, what I actually meant to do was put it on before I put my foundation on, um, but I forgot. So, but so you just blend it out. I don't know if you guys can see a difference. I think it definitely gets rid of a little bit of the redness. But I have a freaking green mustache now, like. <laughs> oh, my pimple hurts. <laughs> You just want to make sure that you blend it because what I actually noticed, I'm not going to talk too much about this just because I'm going to be doing a separate video on it, but what I noticed with this one is it like, you start to see the green throughout the day, like it's not that cute. Um, but so then what I kind of do if it looks like way too green is I just take a little bit more of the foundation, like just like a little baby pump and I'll take it with my finger put it over top just so that I'm not like a freaking I don't know dinosaur looking thing right here can you guys hear that I hope you can't hear the lawnmower so that helps definitely sorry too close camera can't handle it so I think that definitely helps what next what next okay these aren't anything um, okay, actually, so this I did purchase recently, um, it was not in my haul video, but I figured I might as well use all sorts of new stuff and just give you guys a huge review. Um, so this is the CoverGirl True Naked's New, and I heard a lot of people, like, talking about this when it was first released and how great it was. Um, well, not how great it was, but just, like, how pigmented, holy shit, <laughs> how pigmented the colors are because when you swatch it I am sweating so much when you swatch it like you really get a good color payoff um but so I'm gonna do a little eye look with this just real quick 
um, and tell you guys what I think about it. So, let me zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's all I've zoomed in. Gotta get closer. So, I am just taking this uh, third color in, which is called Champagne. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. Then I am gonna go in with cocoa and a blending brush. Now, granted, I did not um, put an eye primer on. I have used this palette with an eye primer and um, it doesn't seem to make a difference. And then I'm just gonna take this little brush and go in color called Stable and just go in right in the outer V. Just a little simple everyday look. Nah, good enough. Um, and then I'm just gonna take the lightest color, which is Shell, and just go right above my brow bone. and on the inner corner. And then I'm just going to put my mascara on and I will talk to you a little bit about that palette while I do so. So this palette, like I said, I have used with and without eye primer and I don't notice a difference because it comes off. This doesn't really, like it looks okay on the eyes. Um, it doesn't last very long at all. This is um, the Butterfly Intensa Mascara, just FYI. Um, it does not last long whatsoever, and it just comes off... Oh, shoot. Okay, so see? You can see my eye. Um, you see under this eye right here? It's um, creasing from the foundation, and I really don't like it. Um, but so this um, mascara, or pff, not mascara, I like this mascara. Um, the palette just does not, so like it's supposed to be a dupe. Oh my gosh, I'm so shaky. I'm so hungry. Um, it's supposed to be a dupe for the um, Urban Decay Naked, just like a cheaper alternative. And when you first swatch it, like, on your hand like it seems like it is and like really good pigment but you're just not going to get the pigment at all that you get with Urban Decay it's just not there at all and it comes off very very quickly and I'm just not a big fan of it um okay next I'm just gonna put my bronzer on and yeah well actually I'm gonna do my brows so like I said in the video I don't do my brows, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to do. So, let's get this mirror closer. So, I'm going to use a little spoolie, brush it up, I'm not really quite sure, brush them over, and I wish my brows had like more shape to them because they really don't have any shape and they're not like big enough as to where I can give them shape, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to take this little, and it has a super, super, super thin um, point to it, as you can see. Um, and this is in the color taupe. And so I'm just gonna make like little, like strokes, as if it's like little hairs. And for when I was first doing this, I really couldn't tell if it was like doing anything because it matches so well. Um, and then I started coloring like up just to see. It was doing something. Um, do you like that looks decent? I don't know. So, there is one compared to the other. I'll do the other one now. Can't really give you a very good review on the, um, the eyebrow stuff because I don't really know much about eyebrows at all, so. 
but for me that works pretty well. Um, so now I'm just going to be putting my bronzer on. This is just the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and the new product that I'm using is this e.l.f. contouring brush. I don't exactly remember where I saw this, but I saw that it was supposed to be like really, really good um, because it is one of these like thin um, like chisel brushes. So we're going to try this out. Oh my. That really did something. <laughs> Why was that one so much darker than this one? Huh. We'll see how that goes. And it seems like it's small enough to go on the side of my nose. Um... So I think, well what I kind of like is for the forehead, like instead of using the brush like this, using the brush like this, so it's like more of the surface instead of just like the thin line. And now I'm just going to take this brush and try to blend this out. Huh. That's not going much of anywhere. It's finally able to blend that out a little bit because, um, so that is still a little bit of a hot mess there. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely say that gives you a defined line. Um, but yeah, so, huh, that gave you, I mean, I think it did a good job though. I think this side looks a lot better than this side. Do I dare? Who knows? Okay. And then I'm using the... Oh shoot, I forgot to set my foundation. I'm an awful makeup guru. Um, so I'm using the translucent Laura Mercier Loose Setting Power and I'm just gonna use the little puff that comes with it because I mean, if this is what comes with it, you might as well try out. So I'm just tapping that in there. I'll mix it in there. And then just pat it on. The thing that I notice about using the little, um, uh, the little puff thing is that it's like in the, when you pat it on your face, it's in like little dots, which not too great for my skin. Then I'm just going to take this brush from Sephora and set my under eye. And then I'm going to take this brush from e.l.f. and just kind of dust everything together. And when you're setting foundation, especially a really thick cover foundation, um, you want to like pat um, the setting, everything, <laughs> pat it in and not rub like I was just doing um, because that way you're patting everything into your skin instead of just swirling everything around. So I'm now going to be using the Revolve Vivid Baked Highlighter. And this just has amazing pigmentation. Like, look at that. It's insane. Okay, what brush do I want to use? Hmm, I didn't bring a brush over for this. So we're just going to use my little eyeshadow brush. So, I'm going to take it and go here. Don't worry, I'm blending. And here, down the center of the nose. Not that I need my nose to look any oilier right there. I'm not putting any of my foreheads because I do not need that to look oilier. So there and there in the center of the nose. It gives like just a really really pretty sheen. I really like this. Um, like doesn't my nose look so pretty? I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit. The 
the first day I tried this on, um, I forgot to buff it out, and my mom was like, um, you've got a streak of glitter down your face. So can you guys kind of see the sheen? Kinda? Kinda? So, sorry, runny nose. So here you can see that it's full coverage. In person, it seems a so in person it seems a lot more full coverage as it also I don't look like a pale ghost um so I'll try to take a picture and insert it so you guys can see. so it's full coverage but it definitely like if you have a big old pimple you're gonna really want to try to cover it up um so then lastly I'm just gonna put some Maybelline matte vivid I just love this lipstick. It is so great. It's so, so smooth. So here is the finished look. Now, what I would normally do is just set it with um, setting spray from Urban Decay. But so, I will just give you a close-up-ish, if my camera will focus. Um, so, eyeshadow don't love foundation love under eye concealer not the biggest fan I don't think it really makes that much of a difference um, highlighter love what else green concealer mm, we'll see elf brush yeah um, Laura Mercier setting powder I did not talk about that I don't like it I like it's not bad but I like my Maybelline setting translucent powder a lot better and it's also a lot cheaper and I just like the way that it comes out in the pan better than the way that this one does um I just don't like the way that this comes out and my Maybelline one is for blurry or for blurry skin for um, oily skin and I just think it really helps mattify it um, and helps my foundation last longer so yeah I think that is everything I hope this video is helpful for you guys um, let me know if you have any other video requests leave them down below make sure to subscribe I've noticed that a lot of youtubers have been being like subscribe subscribe in the beginning of their videos but like I'd love it if you subscribed but like that's not the main reason I make YouTube videos. I make them like not for the number of subscriptions, but just for you guys. I don't know. If that makes any sense. <laughs> my mini rant. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this and I'll see you in the next video.